All right, so this is going to be like a quick little video to kind of, um, I don't know if I ever made like a beginning video on this uh, Camaro, but uh, basically I bought it from a guy that lives probably 15 miles from my house, maybe 20, 15, 20 miles, and uh, the car had been sitting for probably eight years, uh, and he had tarps over it, so uh, the body wasn't in really bad shape, but the paint was, uh, you know, weathered and stuff like that, and it wasn't too bad uh, on the sides, but where the tarp had uh, basically come apart on the roof of it, it had faded the paint and stuff, and he had put plywood on top of it. it I don't know, it was just crazy. Car was sitting, doing nothing. Um, so anyways, bought the car, uh, brought it home, uh, put some gas to it. Um, you know, it cranked right up, put a good battery in it, cranked right up, idled. It was pretty insane, uh, but... Throughout my life, I've known Chevrolets to do that, that have been sitting, uh, cranked right up. Maybe you have to sand the points or something like that, uh, but they would pop right up and just run great. All right, so a little breakdown of this car. It is a 72. Uh, it does have a four-speed um, transmission in it. I believe it's a Muncie uh, four-speed uh, with a Hurst shifter. Uh, it does have the small block 350 in it. Um, I have basically took the car, sanded it all down, uh, resprayed the car. Um, that's basically it. And uh, I cleaned up the engine bay a little bit. Uh, put a, a little dress dress up kit on there. All right, got a new alternator put on. All right. Um, this is an air conditioning car. Uh, it has all the components right there to do it. And I have the AC compressor that I'm about to put on with the brackets. So it's going back on the car uh, this week. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for the engine bay. Just a nice little dress up kit. It's got power steering, new alternator. I put a new starter on it. Um, I'm going to get belts today, put those back on, and I'll put the AC bracket back on. Um, it's got a Z28 uh, front lip. Okay, I'm gonna put that on. Um, all the bumpers and trim that I have for this car and the grill, I have all that. I've got it in primer. I was planning on spraying all of that with satin black uh, single stage. This is a base coat clear coat car. Um, so it was shot base coat clear coat and I'm going to do the stripes, satin black, it's going to do actually a single stripe down the middle, and uh, basically uh, the bumpers uh, would be black, satin black, the grill would be satin black, all the trim around the windows is going to be satin black, and then I was going to put a, a set of Corvette wheels, like a new modern looking set of Corvette wheels on the car, uh, it has been sitting outside this week, so there is a lot of crud on it some pine straw and stuff like that but decided to make a little video to put it online because everybody keeps asking me for photos and stuff like that and i just uh you know i don't really uh have all the time in the world to do all that crap so might as well just take a video of it put it online but the body the body's really straight um uh and the, also there was uh there was rust right here and we cut that out and put new metal in um but the car wasn't it's not rusted out and, uh, here's the trunk uh it's got these this came with the car i'm not really sure you know if the guy had stuff done to the trans um this car does have a lot of power it does have new uh, uh weather stripping in the trunk the trunk was sprayed okay all right shuts just fine uh, no no rot around the uh, windows which is great um, it does need new cat whiskers on the windows uh, I bought new carpet there's new carpet in the car okay got crap in there too new parts um, back seats back in place all right and the panels in the back are back in place I have a brand new dash for the car that I'm putting in it there was nothing wrong with the other one. It was just the sun had hit it, and uh, it had 
curled the dash and made it all like lopsided crap like that uh, does have a crack in the windshield all right all right so I have that let me get the door open here hold on one second let me see if I can get this damn door open I took the handles off because I'm spraying those satin black as well so bear with me YouTube come on baby there we go all right so here's your door jams all right plate looks pretty good door jams look really good and like I said I have a new dash to go in the car all right and uh, I have a new headliner that goes in the car uh, the other one was sagging um, this car does have new weather stripping in the doors okay you got new carpet the seats are in really good shape I have the front seats I have um, let's see I've got um, the pan all the I got all the interior panels I even have the door panels but I was gonna attempt to redo those so you if you do buy the car the way it is you're gonna need to order a set of door panels but everything else I have um, so this week I'm finishing up the engine bay I'm gonna finish that air conditioning um, and I'm also gonna finish um, that's gonna be it the, the engine bay is gonna be done um, the car does run and drive um, later when I get the belts on it maybe I'll do like a a little cold start on it video but um yeah car does run and drive uh, I would take if you wanted to take this car and, and finish it out I uh, definitely would redo the brakes just because they haven't been redone and you know for me to put myself in an old car like this I would redo the brakes they do stop it does stop it does go clutch feels great everything's great uh, let me see if I can get underneath the car. All right. You can see a little bit. There's the frame. Subframe. There's the new starter. There's your trans. And the floors. The floors are in solid shape in this car. It's actually uh, shocked me how solid this car was underneath. Let me get another back. Oh. Back here. Uh. Gas tank. There's your rear. Alright. So it's really clean under here. No rot. Needs a set of new shocks. Because they're like old as hell. But that's, you know, that's what you're getting into. You're getting into a project that's, you know, almost there. It's not a uh, fully done car, but it's very close to being one. So, if you're interested in the car, um, you know, get in contact with me, and uh, maybe we can make a deal. 843-489-1245. That's 843-489-1245.